Welcome back friends, welcome to another video from Shomu's Biology and in this video we will be talking about integrin. Now we have already talked about the presence of integrin in other videos about fibronectin and uh, dystrophin but in this video we will be majorly focused on integrin function. So integrin is a transmembrane protein, it is a structural component of protein, it is a transmembrane signaling protein molecule that is required for the cell during the cell division, cell growth and cell motility and maintaining cell shape. So it is very important protein actually. So if I write it in the very basic manner, it is you know transmembrane, transmembrane cell signaling protein, transmembrane cell signaling protein. Now uh, if we look at here, integrin is having two different subunits, one is alpha and another one is beta, those subunits are present in integrin, right. So if I draw the structure, what happens, integrins are found in all those tissues of our body, actually, actually most of the tissues of our body, where uh, the cells are present one after another, but that's not enough. What we need to have, we need to interact with those cells, uh, those cells should be connected with each other in both the aspects, structurally as well as, uh, you know, any means of uh, cell signaling. And integrins provided the cell signaling mediated interaction between the neighboring cells where the structural interaction is provided by other uh, uh, protein that is called as cadherin. We have already talked about that. A description, I mean the link for those cadherin protein in, is in the description as well as uh, hopefully I put uh, it in the annotation and popping it here so you can click on this so that you can redirect and watch the video on cadherins. So here it is about the integrin. So integrin, uh, if, I, if I draw the simple structure of it, it will look something like that. So let's say this is a cell membrane and in the cell membrane we have the integrin embedded, two different, uh, two different uh, subunits are there. So let's say membrane spanning portion and let's say this is one, and another subunit. Let's draw it with another color. Let's draw it with the red color, the beta subunit. And this is the beta subunit. And so this is the integrin, so alpha and beta, two different subunits of the integrin embedded into the cell membrane like that. One is the intracellular portion, other one is the extracellular portion. Now what integrin's job is to ensure the cell and tell the cell whether the cell need to have certain specific activity regarding the cellular movement or cellular shape organization or cellular interactions with the neighboring cells during the cell growth and cell division. So what happens actually there are two different types of cell signaling that are brought about using integrin. One is the inside out signaling, another one is the outside in signaling. That means a protein molecule can interact or a ligand uh, I mean the signaling molecule can interact with this receptor, a ligand can bind with this integrin receptor from outside and give the signal inside, that's called the outside in signaling. Another one that from the cell a molecule attached to this intracellular portion of the integrin and provides a signal outside, that's called inside out signaling. So in both the signaling, usually integrin is in inactive form, it will look like this. So both the subunits are very close to each other, they are kind of bended like that. So once any kind of signal reception occurs that, that can be two different type, one is in, inside out, another one is the outside in. So let us say here in the in, outside in signaling, let us say a protein molecule here is called let us say fibro, fibronectin, a fibronectin is a protein molecule that is coming from outside attached to this uh, beta or alpha integrin structure and as a result it will provide this beta catenin it will it will have a structural shift in the beta i mean shift in the catenin and what happens this subunits are start to dissociate from each other i mean they are kind of separated from each other like that and the separation is 70 angstrom here that's a very important thing that is 70 angstrom between these two alpha and beta alpha and beta integrin the difference will be 70 angstrom kind of it was observed that this the separation triggers the cell signaling process inside because the ligand bound, bind, bound to outside and that's called that is called the inside sorry that's called the outside in in signaling 
outside in signaling due to the binding of fibronectin. Same thing can result if something bind here, for example, tallin, for example, another protein called, sorry, not here, I can show the same thing here, attachment of what is called a tallin. If it adhere to this in, from inside the cell to the intracellular section of this integrin, it will put some signaling and again same thing will occur alpha and beta subunit will separate from each other 70 angstrom and as a result it will lead to certain signaling and that signaling will be termed as inside out signaling. In both the way those signaling actually help the cell to establish certain tasks. For example, uh, during the blood clotting in our body, what we need to have, we need to have two many different processes going on and the major two processes are one is the formation of fibrin network in the wound region and then the aggregation of platelets in that fibrin net. net. So what happens during this process, if the platelets to be aggregated onto the surface of the cell, in that case the signaling with integrin is very much necessary. So once those platelets will come and interact with this uh, integrins from outside, it is going to provide a signal there and that signal is received by the cells and the cell will follow the, all the processes and it will start to provide the receptors which will help those platelets to bind with this wound region of the cell and then the cells will be interacting with the platelets and platelets will be aggregated there. So this integrin mediated response or integrin mediated cell signaling can help platelets to be aggregated in the wound region. So that's a kind of real time example of integrin functionality in our body. So that's kind of it about integrins. If you like that video, please subscribe, share the video, uh, hit a like and uh, so that we can grow more and more. So thank you very much and all the best.